mankind from generation to generation until the colors fade and blacken out of sight or the canvas rot entirely away. It is possible that some of the work of Olivia Gabriel, who now lives in Orange County, could become examples of what Hawthorne wrote about 130 years ago. Olivia Gatewood is not a new artist. She is probably known better outside of her home state. It looks like a coral reef, and it has the resemblance of lily pads. Whatever you perceive it to be, there is no question about who is the creator of it. Olivia Gatewood's work has been seen and admired in several art galleries across America and abroad. What I, I'm trying to um, create is a scene that you would find if you were actually underwater. I'm fascinated with um, the bee and the plant life. I love to swim and I want to do uh, deep sea diving and so forth. So until I acquire the, the, those skills, I have to use my imagination of what it looks like down there. So that's what I'm working on right now. Olivia Gatewood says she learned some of the tricks of her trade from her father when she was a toddler, and her dad was a portrait painter. I was brought up in a home where my parents were both very creative. My dad was an artist, he did portraits, and so from a very early age, I would be using his oils and his brushes and leaving them dirty, and so, you know, there was a lot of discipline about how to handle his art materials and um, techniques and so forth. So he saw that I had an interest, and he'd always give me advice, and. You know, he was really excited about uh, my interest in what he was doing. And because TV viewing time was very limited, we had to do other things to entertain ourselves. And one thing that we did as a family was drawing and painting and creating things from nothing usually. She has lived and worked in Europe. After receiving her fine arts degree from California State University, she spent some time in the United States Air Force, where she worked as an illustrator. After all of the traveling and experiences, she says there is no place like home in Rootsmont, North Carolina. I look at the travel as like collecting ideas, being able to work and visit museums that I studied about in college and to meet those artists. You know, it was very inspiring to me, and I'm a country girl. I like North Carolina. I think it's a beautiful state. Um, when I left Europe, I came back to be close to my family uh, because I think of family as a real strong support system. In January 1992, her celebration of color exhibit was at the Durham Hayti Heritage Center. One of the works entitled Blossoming Spring had won Best Picture Award and a Forsyth County and Winston-Salem Arts Council jury show. Blossoming Spring is a triptych. It's three paintings that I've done in sequence. Um, it's to portray some of the beauty that I find in nature, although it is an abstract piece, there are some things that you can pick up. It's like a story of what happens when uh, seeds are budding, and then it goes to blossoming, and then it goes to full bloom. Another piece, Dance of the Eels, was used in a film called New Jack City. The art director looked at uh, some of the work, because at that time I had an exhibit in New York City, and he went over to the gallery, and he was fascinated with uh, one particular piece, which is Dance of the Eels, and he thought that that would be a perfect piece to um, describe the personality of Mo Money in the movie. So this was a piece that they used on the set in his bedroom. It was somewhat of his mascot, <laughs> eelish kind of personality. She is artist in residence at St. Mary's School near Hillsborough. No brushes allowed. Just the paint. You know, I find that children, because especially young children, they haven't been um, conditioned to think a certain way. Therefore, they have a greater freedom than us as adults because we have been trained to. Um, in, in a way that this is right or this is wrong. And they have that freedom to explore everything, you know, so there is no right or wrong. And I like to give them that opportunity to express themselves freely in the heart. And it's good for me because it reminds me of when I was a kid. I forget about how exciting it was to mix blue and yellow and make green. I see that form and I'm She finds the time to spend with other aspiring young artists. 
like this group at Orange High School. And I think this would be an advantage to you and your future uh, because you can use this uh, valuable experience for your resume, for college admissions, for particular jobs that you might be interested in. And who knows, the corporation may commission you to do special work for them. Olivia Gatewood opened a new market for herself with greeting cards, all handmade and signed by her, and are presently being marketed by her in local stores. They're going like hotcakes. I can't produce them fast enough. They're all original greeting cards, original paintings that are signed, and no two of them are the same. And uh, I'm currently marketing now you you're working some of the mall stores too that's right? true that's true prima, prima donna, donna in northgate mall the what is the reception store. then for the customers and the clients oh you know a lot of the customers are buying these greeting cards and framing them as artwork instead of sending them as oh it's too nice to send to anyone or if someone is really special they'll send them that this will be the gift that i've been looking for When she is not at the canvas, there's a chance you'll find her here in her backyard. She holds a black belt in combat show to come. Oh, it's total relaxation. Um, I can't think of a better way for concentration, endurance, uh, discipline, and to acquire a skill that is helpful to me. I like to participate in sparring and in tournament fighting and uh, taekwondo a lot. And one final question about the style of Olivia Gatewood's art. Is it abstract, or what is it called? I call it ab-realism. Ab for abstract, and realism from the realistic uh, origins that I find my work. Um, I feel like everything I do is realistic in the sense that I have collected the ideas from something that I have experienced or I would like to experience or maybe not like to experience and I put it into an abstract form on a two-dimensional canvas or paper. Gatewood's work is on exhibit now at Art Space Incorporated at 201 Davies Street in Raleigh and in Durham at Tyndall's Art Gallery. She says she'll produce some work for another movie soon. Rustones of many colors.